Hello, we are now in module 3 of the subject Applied Business Economics. So in this module, we will discuss about the SWOT analysis. But before we will start our discussion in this module, we will determine our expectations. So after going through this module, you are expected to first understand the SWOT analysis. Second, we will discuss the purpose of SWOT analysis. And then lastly, we will identify the SWOT of a business. So, before we will proceed to our lesson, we will have a pre-test first. Number one, it is a strategic planning technique to assess the internal and external factors as well as current and future potential. A. SWOT analysis B. Environmental scanning C. Business plan and D. Marketing research So the answer is letter A. SWOT analysis Number 2 The SWOT stand for A. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats B. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats C. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and time D. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and time bound The answer is letter B. Strengths Weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Threats with H and not threats without H. So the answer is letter B. Number three. It describes what an organization excels at and what separates it from the competition. Again, it describes what an organization excels at at and what separates it from the competition a strengths b weaknesses c opportunities and d none of the above the answer is letter a strengths number four it refers to favorable external factors that could give an organization a competitive advantage a. Strengths B. Weaknesses C. Opportunities D. None of the above The answer is letter C. Opportunities Last number It refers to factors that have the potential to harm an organization A. Strengths B. Weaknesses C. Opportunities and D. None of the above. The answer is D. None of the above. The right answer for this is the threats. So now let's proceed to our formal discussion. Again, in our module, in this uh, module 3, we will discuss about the SWOT analysis. So the SWOT analysis stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's a framework used to evaluate a company's competitive position and to develop strategic planning. So according to Grant 2020, SWOT analysis assess internal and external factors as well as the current and the future potential. So a SWOT analysis is designed to facilitate a realistic, fact-based, data-driven to look at the strengths and the weaknesses of an organization or an industry. So organization needs to keep the accuracy of the analysis by avoiding preconceived beliefs or gray areas and instead fo focusing on the real-life context. So the company should use it as a guide and not necessarily as a prescription. So the SWOT analysis is a technique for assessing the 
performance, competition, risk, and potential of a business, as well as part of the business such as product line or division, and industry or other entity. So we will go further. We will discuss about the internal factors, which are the strengths and weaknesses. So this part is the internal factors, and in this part is the external factors. So we will discuss first the internal factors. So the internal factors of the SWOT analysis are strengths and weaknesses. So these are the resources and experiences readily available to the business proponents. These factors include first, financial resources such as money and source of funds for investment. Secondly, physical resources such as the company's location, facilities, machinery, and equipments. So these are the strengths of a business or any industry. Third one, human resources consisting of employees. Fourth, Access to natural resources, trademarks, patents, and copyrights. And lastly, the current processes such as employee programs, sales and distribution capabilities, marketing programs, etc. So again, the internal factors were the strengths and weaknesses. So the strengths describes what an organization excels at and what separates it from the competition a strong brand loyal customer base a strong balance sheet unique technology and more these are the strength internal factors of a business and also the weaknesses it stop an organization from performing at its optimum level there are areas where the business needs to improve like lack of raw materials, personal attitude, poor location, and lack of budget for product promotion, and among others. So these are the internal factors. So now let's proceed to the external factors, the opportunities and threats. So these are the factors that affect a business or a company or an organization or an individual and those outside their control. So these factors include first, economic trends such as stock market, economic performance, and the like. Also, market strengths, trends such as new products or technology, changes in taste and lifestyle of society. Third one, national and local laws and regulations fourth relationship with suppliers and lastly fifth competitive threats so again the external factors were the opportunities and threats so the opportunities refer to favorable external factors that could give an organization a competitive advantage examples include the larger market company expansion and new customer trends and among others and also the threats refer to the factors that have the potential to harm an organization. For example, changes in government policy, changes in consumer taste and preferences, inflation and recession, and among others. So these are the external factors. So the strengths, I mean the positive side in the internal is the strength and for the external its opportunities the negative side of a business or any organization or industry in the internal part that is weakness and in the external part that is threats so in this short video I do believe that you have learned something about the SWOT analysis and the importance of uh, conducting SWOT analysis in a business industry so to close our discussion, this module, we will have a saying by Susan Gale. Sometimes you don't realize your strengths until you come face to face with your greatest weakness. Thank you for listening and don't forget to answer the 
post test. Thank <laughs> you.